Good morning, Builder Blog. If I look like I'm still asleep, that's because I am. This is day two of BattleBots face-offs, and like every fight day, we're starting in the battery tent. That's right. Charging batteries, because there's no leaving lipos unattended. So yesterday, Roundhouse and Scorpios fail safe and checked, and today we're seeing if Mad Catter and Calypso will also pass their fail safe checks. Hey guys, do you know where the restroom is? Oh, why, yes, it is around the box. Just that way. Thank you. Right over there. <laughs> Muscles and butts! <laughs> All right, we're, we're here. We are here at the BattleBots headquarters, and we're about to see them flip the on switch for the battle box. <laughs> Partially on switch. Partially on switch? Yeah. There's a couple switches. So how many red buttons am I allowed to press? And please tell me what the big one does. Uh, so oh, this nice. one takes this one takes the key. This is this is the on key. Oh, that's not a button. That's that's <laughs> like the Oh, we're turning on the battle box, folks. And then we gotta wait for Windows to load. Look at that, Windows 7. <laughs> <laughs> that really takes me out of this like NASA experience of the giant control board, I want you to know. <laughs> so so just like your car, you need a key to start you, the battle box. You do. Uh, but you also have a couple other programs you gotta start first. Well, this is the GUI for the, uh, for the system and you'll see all of the fun stuff. Ooh. So uh, we also have to start the compressor. So how many people does it take to run the battle box when an actual match is going? Safely, it takes three people. We found that four people during Destructathon is what is the magic number. One for the Whopper, one for each door, and one more because the bots are really, really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you there. So here we are building up pressure to 130 PSI right now, which uh, does all the, um, the hammers, the door locks, all that other fun stuff. Now here's something really technical. Because the lighting system isn't on, <clears throat> here's, here's, our, here's our temporary lighting. Oh, just <laughs> like my Christmas lights. <laughs> Perfect. Trade secret. Trade, Trade secret. secret. So we're at 130 PSI. I will uh, start the exhaust fan at a fight speed. Um, just so that way if anything happens in the box. And uh, blue door is locked, so. So uh, do these lights just blink to make it look fancier? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what? We do, we, do, we do things for kids tours and stuff, you know? <laughs> So please tell me if we do this for kids' cores, there's a button I can push. Uh, no, but we should make one. You know, we should make one for kids to just come up and press. Uh, these control all the saws uh, oh. when they come up and down, as well as the flippers and the other screws. But those aren't going to be activated at this point. So. All right. All right, the Good box to, uh... is unlocked, <laughs> and it's time to load robots. All right, are you guys ready? ready. Well, almost ready. Almost ready. Almost one ready. final set screw, right? Uh, it's always just one final set screw. We're, we're putting <laughs> it in some really now, actually. <laughs> Yeah, we. All right. uh, so I, I do have to ask: Did yeah. you hit the gym before you came into the pits today? We actually did. <laughs> we actually did. Yeah, we did. Uh, we woke up at seven right. in the morning. Yeah, we did an hour workout actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, Damn. Time. Every time for and we had time for our poses too. Yeah, we were practicing our poses in the mirror. Hey, hey, show, show what Chelsea showed you. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, there we go. Get the lighting. Get the lighting. <laughs> it's muscles and bots. <laughs> muscles and bots. That's right. Well, you can't build that. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready? Yeah, more or less. It looks like a robot. More or Does less. it talk like a robot? Yeah. It, it doesn't talk. It doesn't talk. Does it meow? It does. 
Yeah, you gotta listen really carefully though. Yeah. And it purrs. Is it purring now? No. No, it's yeah. angry. It's angry. So it just it doesn't come That's across it. on the video, but it is. Uh, <laughs> you'll hear it purr. Yeah, you'll definitely hear it purr in the arena. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready? No. That was very. That was a very honest answer. Almost. We're getting there. We're getting very, actually it's very close. close. Still, I'm surprised. I'm not. All right. I'm gonna try not to bug you guys. Why is it apart? We're not Everyone else is together. Structathon's next week, right? It's right. <laughs> I, I want you to know, this robot looks much more together than that robot. This is true. You know what? That's something. We'll take it. Put it back together. It's, it's almost together. It was like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes from here. Perfect. I don't know where this came from in my brain, but... Uh, Currently, Mad Catter looks like a very subject. Oh. No. Is this tonight's special guest star? You, oh my god. You, you step on the gas pedal. <laughs> now, two of those words faster. were correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll let you figure okay. out which two. As a personal okay. content team, like, that's the thing is, New Age Media is made for small teams. So one they didn't have people. the door locked. So, you know, I, they, I wandered in. <laughs> okay. And, you know, we're going to need. I, I, are we doing judges' decisions by audience applause? Or? I believe there's two judges and then the third one is a crowd. Okay. And I think there is a disclaimer, like Bill's like, we've got a team of engineers out the back if you guys get it wrong. Okay. You know, so I think it's, if there's an egregious, hey, we just love that bot that <laughs> didn't win mm -hmm. and we cheer for it, then I think as a community, we can be like, uh, that's kind of the wrong call. In, in, in long-term stats, if anyone cares, it should be a blah, blah. I'm here to film some stuff and see how things that's are done. Saying, you got that's, another judge here. That's 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 what I'm here for. However, no, he, if he drives last rights, whatever, not the judge. You know, <laughs> another <laughs> judge. You got to okay. keep it straight. You know. Um, I mean, well, see, this is what we're trying in face-offs. Is one and a half minutes in, a little buzzer sounds. Okay. And tombstone drops from the ceiling. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, I did that with a pool table not that long ago. Okay. <laughs> did, you, did you watch the? I did. Yeah. yeah. Dropping the cool thing. That was that was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Tombstone drops. <laughs> what color you got? Yeah. It's literally uh, next to the normal coat spray on that right. Oh, it's it's one. One. Yeah, the clear one goes here. Two twenty four. So we we're Let making decent time. Drawn, and it looks very accurate to what we're doing. So are you guys just painting stuff now? Yeah, we're painting. Right. Well, we so so I had access to a makerspace, and then I lost access to the makerspace. I got it through Google, which is where I work, and it made me sad. And that's how we had a vinyl cutter. And so this happened during build week, and I was like, "Oh crap, what am I going to do now?" So I don't think he we ran this. out of vinyl pieces that we had pre-cut from last year. So now we're just painting it on. All right. Yeah. And that's a short story. That's a short story. <laughs> Back when I was seven years old. And so, so if if, uh, if if the great Sundar is listening to this, we're very sad that we lost access to our makerspace, and please give it back to us. <laughs> okay, where's the light blade? Do we have to paint it? Hey, this looks more like a robot. Starting to. So it, 
So the builder blog understands this. This is robot number two. We're trying to get we're trying to get new magnet tech ready for Mad Catter. By the way, we can start screwing the magnets back in. Are you ready, Daniel? I need a hole punch. Okay, get this man a hole punch. Come on, Scorpios. Steering's reversed. We need to plug the speed controller in backwards. Oh, man. Glides right over those slits. This one. This drives so much better than the other one. <laughs> I just can't help you say the thing was backwards. And in my head, I'm just imagining somebody in a car. Looking forward to slamming it straight in the reverse. <laughs> Almost ready to drive a match like this. Oh, shoot, it's still wheelies. You really just ruined Zach's case. I don't have a song. I just swear. Glad I could help. Oh, he I can't swear. use the footage. That works. Ready? I have a bond in this. It's just a new pet car. I have a bond in this. This wire is not right over the curb. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so, when they so how long did this take you to design? On every single, or almost every port. Way longer than we had. <laughs> I I can't believe you guys pulled this together in six weeks. Me neither. I don't think we can believe it either. <laughs> I don't even think we know. We got all the weapons and forks Wednesday. And for the for the people watching, that was two days ago. Oh, I heard a beep. Yeah. Hey yo. Should be on. Alright. Uh, Frisbee. Okay, we're moving the robot around. Okay, that she's connected, this yeah. would be an 3, now, I know some longtime listeners of the blog might be wondering where Scorpios 9.5 is, since you've seen 4 and you've seen 8. 9.5 was really a plan, and upgrades of 9.5 have been both put in number 4 and 8. So in a lot of ways, both of them are Scorpios 9.5. However, it was confusing the team when I kept saying 9.5, and so we just went with the original frame numbers. However, each one has received upgrades. The one you're looking at right now is still using the dually mags, so there's four mini mag motors in it. So I could not do the air upgrade system you saw in my previous video. However, it does have a belt tensioning upgrade that has really improved the weapon. 
the new Scorpios 9.5 blade, and the new magnet forks we were designing for Scorpios 10. All those upgrades are on the one you see now. Scorpios 4, which is sitting ready for its fight with Calypso, has the belt tension upgrades, the mag motor upgrades, and the blade upgrade. All part of the Scorpios 9.5 design. So, we've got two Scorpioses, this one's almost ready. We've proven out the drive system, now we just need to do a little work on the weapon system. I would say definitely my favorite part of BattleBots Face-Off that you cannot do in a regular season of BattleBots is they give you nearly unlimited access to the battle box. Since there's only four teams here instead of 60, um, you get to walk up and test your robot in the battle box anytime you want for the first two days. And that's actually a huge advantage for weapon testing, for magnet testing, for all these different aspects. And I'd have to say, it is a huge improvement in builder quality of life. <laughs> <laughs> well, Builder Blog, I have to cut off the feed right here. Um, it, we are just about to line up and we're going to have the first round of fights here at BattleBots Face Off. And you're going to have to wait and go subscribe to the BattleBots YouTube channel. They're going to be posting this either later in the year or early next year. So, it does take time to edit your absolute favorite TV show, and Diana's going to continue to troll me. We are still going to have content here on the Builder Blog. Um, we are going to show up to Ray's Weekend, so please like and subscribe so you can see us do that. Also, we have more videos like when we went to Bishop Weiscarver to see how we got the weapon turning faster. So, please stay tuned, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next week.